Redmond. And once again, as I stated on last evening, if you please will check your cell phones and make sure they're in a silent or vibration uh, position. The only song we will let you play will be Amazing Grace, because that was her favorite song. I'm Pastor Jerome Brown, Senior Pastor of the Brown Chapel Church here in the city of Union City. And on behalf of Chapel of the Chimes, we want to welcome you here. We appreciate you coming to all the friends for all the love and support that you have shown on today and even on uh, last evening. We had a good turnout even on last night. Um, this is one of the most difficult parts of our lives is when we lose a loved one. But we can make it through the strength of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So I'm going to ask you to bow your heads with me at this time as we go through the throne of grace and mercy. Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your kindness. We even thank you for this day. Truly, even this is the day that you have made. We're rejoicing and being glad. We even thank you as we take time out to celebrate the life of a wonderful person, the life of a mother, the life of a wife, the life of a grandmother, the life of a great-grandmother, even the life of a daughter. We ask your divine presence to come in, come in and encourage us. Someone needs your comforting spirit to comfort them, to give them the strength to go through. We know that you're able. We trust and we believe in you, that you will be our honored guest, even at this homegoing service. This we ask in your son, Jesus Christ's name. Thank God. Amen. 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 I heard my amen corner. <laughs> my biggest supporter, so I'm telling y'all right now, is that young lady back there. I don't know what her age was. I think she's about, what, four or five? She's four. She, as I was speaking last night, she kept saying, Amen! Amen! <laughs> so, no disrespect to all of I got my help. <laughs> my help on her. And uh, I love it. I love it. I want to commend your parents because the Bible teaches us to train a child in the way that they should go when they get old. The seed that they're planting, even these amens, and trust me, down the road, it will help them down the road. Mm -hmm. Reading in the Old Testament, very familiar scripture that the psalmist wrote, David, to encourage us in the times like these. The 23rd division of Psalms reads, the Lord is my shepherd. And I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pasture. He leads me beside the still water. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod, your staff, they will comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy 
shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. For the New Testament, we chose one of Jesus' disciples, John speaking in the third chapter, in just one verse, 16th, it reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. At this time, we're going to have a musical selection, and it was Gloria's favorite song, Amazing Grace. <laughs> 